depending on which decade you were born. The only record of you was probably in photo albums, home videos, or government records. Then came the era of social media, where the majority of us are sharing pieces of our lives with the world. This also means that now more than ever, we have a glimpse into the mothering journeys of a lot more women and families than we had before. Although some women have chosen to keep their family lives private, others have made the decision to let us in on how they mother. The questions I had were many. What challenges do online moms who have chosen to open that part of their life to the world face? What led them to that decision? Having that part of their lives on the internet likely means that both the moms and the children are open to a lot of scrutiny. How have they managed the effects of this scrutiny, whether positive or negative? Do you consider that the children are not able to consent to having a public life? And how does that affect the choices that you as a mom makes? Being in the public eye comes with its own challenges, with mothering being a very unique and for most people a personal and intimate journey. Having the choices you make scrutinized by an audience is a very vulnerable experience. We would like to speak to mothers who have made this choice and get a glimpse into their world and what their experience is like in light of that decision. I've been trolled. Yeah, that was a bit hard. But once, so I think maybe I'm not a celeb enough yet because I've not been trolled a lot. <laughs> but that one trolling was a bit hard. My name is Wangashi Wandere Kehara. I'm a mother of two. I have a three-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son. I think being a mom at this moment in my life is my biggest me because it has bore not just my children but also my business and my passion right now that I have for moms and babies. I'm a certified lactation counselor as well as a certified child nutrition practitioner and with this I support moms with lactation. Any issues that they might have with lactation this could be anything from lack of breast milk, um, not knowing how to latch. You could be a preemie mom who is having difficulties with breastfeeding your preemie. You could be an adoptive mom who wants to breastfeed a child that you did not carry. You might be a mom who maybe was away for your child for a month and now you're trying to breastfeed your child again. I also support moms with weaning. Other than that, I also support moms in new motherhood and in the transition from being not a mom to being a mom. And the transition there, there's so much that goes on in a woman's mind, in a woman's body, in a woman's life. And sometimes, not actually sometimes, oftentimes as women, we don't know what to do at that time or what to feel or what to think because we do not have the support out there to support us through that transition. So I'd help moms transition through that. As a first time mom, as a fifth time mom, most of the moms I work with find me through social media, mostly Instagram and Facebook. And other than that, now word of mouth from moms who I've worked with or moms who also still found me on social media. I have an office that I work from in Mothaiga North where moms can come see me. I do a lot of online consults and I also do home visits. I think everybody has heard that motherhood is beautiful, that you will know what love actually is and that you will be filled with so much love you won't even know what to do with it and your heart will burst with love and just beautiful roses and sunshine and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And then when I became a mom, it was like, what on earth is this? Where is my beautiful? Where is the love? Where is the overwhelming joy? And where is all? I, I did not feel all those things that I was expecting to feel, especially in the first weeks. So for me, I felt very disappointed and I felt very confused because all the moms I spoke to, and even in my baby shower, everybody who you hear speaking about motherhood out there, it was just beautiful. Then here I am as a first time mom, and it's not beautiful for me, then it must be something wrong with me because everybody else cannot be wrong and I'm the only one, I feel like crying. I'm the only one who's um, struggling. So I just, I did not understand it. And then one day when my Modoni was around two months old, I went to visit my mom. And then my auntie, she was like, Shishi, that's what they call me. Shishi, how is motherhood? Hard, eh? As in she didn't even wait for me to respond. She was like, hard, eh? And I looked at her like, then why didn't you tell me? Then she was like, oh, tunango janga tu, as in mjipate. Like we just wait for you to experience it yourself because if you tell you, you can't understand. 
and that is how actually my my mothership was born i think as women we are brought up to vumilia shikilia feature uchi yako you know like cover yourself cover your family do not go talking about your hardships do not you know so you enter marriage for example and for me that's been another thing that i feel is really hard but the thing that's painted out there they tell you it's hard but what is painted is still beauty so you enter into marriage and then you enter into motherhood and then you have these two things that are really hard but you can't talk to anybody about it yet in every single home all those women have gone through the same thing you're going through as a mom but because i need to tell everybody it's beautiful i need to show the world and i need to show instagram that i me i love my baby me i've never not loved my baby my heart is overflowing with love then you don't talk and in the evening you go to the bathroom and you cry and you're crying by yourself yet you can call wangeshi and wangeshi will tell you but they imagine it's okay to feel like that it's okay to feel like your life has changed completely and at this current moment i'm not liking my life and wangeshi will tell you imagine when me i felt la- like that and it will pass you're still a good mom you're still doing the best that you can it's confusing all these feelings are normal but you'll be okay and i feel like if women just spoke more and held their hands held each other's hands more then the transition into new motherhood would be so much easier for women and the transition into everything all stages like right now i feel like such a bad mom because of my 3 year old but when i speak to other moms with 3 year olds all of them their children are just pushing the same boundaries like i used to feel like i'm such a failure and that my daughter deserves better than me and that i'm not getting things right because everybody else it's beautiful and then i also didn't feel love actually the overwhelming love that i was so loud feel for my daughter i didn't feel it and the only silver lining to that is that my my cousin gave birth in february i gave birth in march and when she had her child i asked her, oh so how are you feeling she was like oh but i don't love her i kind of like her i know i should love her but i kind of like her so when she came at least i knew that even if everyone was talking about love even if i don't love her day one my cousin kind of liked her so it's okay so i knew i loved my daughter like mentally i knew i loved her but in my heart i didn't feel the overwhelming love and that didn't happen maybe until she was maybe between 4 to 6 weeks and then another thing that really used to amaze me was how the love would grow and how how i loved her yesterday was not how i loved her today or how i loved her last week was not how i loved her maybe a month later like it would become now the overwhelming that everybody spoke about but you see the thing that i didn't know at the beginning it would take a month again made me feel like you can't be a good mom and you're not feeling overwhelming love one month later So my father was always so against me posting my children online. Like from the time I was pregnant, oh don't put your children online. Don't put your children online. And I used to roll my eyes like you're just an old man. What do you know? As in your your, your generation and my generation are so different. So really I don't have to listen. Then when I had Mudoni, I think I waited like maybe 6 or 8 months before I posted her photo online. Anyway, one day I was in Carrefour and then I recognized a daughter of a celebrity. and i was like oh that's so and so's daughter where is she and that for me was it that right there was the day i made my decision that i never want my child to be walking around somewhere and then someone says that is so and so where is the mom i never want that to be her or to be him so that's how i decided because i didn't want that no yeah it was easy it is the right choice for my family So another mom or another family might decide let's have our family online and that works for that family. So I can't really say one is right one is wrong because of course I considered my options the other person has considered their options they have the reasons why they've chosen to put their family and the children online. I have my choice and what I've made for myself and everybody is right in their own like it's right for that family it's right for my family. There's one family though that I follow on YouTube and i really liked what they they were doing with their kids so they have a family youtube channel but basically the children can choose whether to come online or not there's no pressure so if they are shooting do you want to be shot yes or no if you don't want they don't come so in fact there's this day i think the dad was talking about an activity he was doing with his son but his son had said i'm not coming online today and he just shot it and now explained to us what they decided as a family and i feel like i really admired that because that child was maybe 6 And that's really a small baby and if you chose to you could coerce them into no you have to but the fact that 
even with a six year old, the dad um, respected the child enough not to make that decision for him. I, I really liked that. Motherhood is hard. Like it's the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life. And the hardship does not end. It just gets different and your psychology and your preparation for it gets different. So it gets easier. I'm gonna have another story. <laughs> I was talking to my mom last week and I was like, I feel like such a failure because my three-year-old honestly is driving me nuts. And I feel like there's something I'm not doing right. And she said, all moms go through self-doubt and it doesn't end. Like when your children make decisions, you have self-doubt. So it doesn't end. The hardship doesn't end. It just evolves into, I'm changing diapers and I'm waking up every night into a three-year-old who's sassy and pushing boundaries to a seven-year-old who's refusing to wake up to go to school, to a 13-year-old who's banging doors, you know. And in each stage, the hardships are different. But I think the thing that I would like to really encourage moms, in, and even if I don't have older children, I feel like in each season, you'll get grace. And in each season, there'll be hardships, but there'll still be love. And it'll still be beautiful through the hardships. So if you're going through the first few months of motherhood, just know that mentally and emotionally you will grow as a mom because you're also learning yourself as a mom. And when a baby is born, a mom is born. So the same way you treat a baby, treat yourself like that. The way you have grace for your newborn, have grace with yourself as you grow through the years and go through every single child as well will be a new, a new birth of you as a mom. And be gracious and just know that every decision that you make, even if maybe five years from now you look back and think that it was a bad decision, there's no point generally that you make a decision to mess up your kid. At every stage you make a decision based on the knowledge that you have and based on your reality at that time. So just know at each stage of life that you're at, you're doing a good job and you're a good mom. <laughs>